Yo, what's up guys? My name is AK13. Uh, today we're gonna make a beat for Gunna's new album, Wanna. He recently dropped his album and it's crazy. Go listen to it if you haven't. But yeah, but first of all, uh, before we start, follow my social media. All my links will be down below, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the guitar from Palace's uh, Omnisphere Bank, it's his first Omnisphere Bank, vo Volume 1, uh, shout out to Palace. Uh, just has great sounds, you know, it has very realistic sounding uh, sounds. But yeah, I chose this guitar focus. It sounds close to a real guitar. But yeah, let's draw the chords for the tutorial. Uh, what I usually like to do is take out like a minor ninth and then put out the scale and uh, put Iolian scale. Scales are like they're they're very helpful if you don't know any music theory, just like me. But yeah. Um, let me draw out this chord, let's listen to it. In most of Ghana's um, guitar beats, there is one producer and that Wheezy and uh, Turbo really works close with, his name is Q Keto guitar he usually makes like the guitar melodies that you usually hear one of his uh, uh, examples is sold out dates uh, he pre he co-produced it with Wheezy and uh, Turbo there uh, big shot by Ghana you know all those guitar melodies are from him but since <laughs> I don't play guitar I'm gonna have to stick to Omnisphere uh, arpeggio uh, function so what I like to do for clock I like to pull on one eight, not too fast, but not too slow. Sometimes I like to change it up over here to one octave or two octave. So yeah. As you see, it already sounds very realistic to me. I'm even surprised, but I don't like the second chord. Let me put it in two octaves. To me, it sounds great. Uh, let's secure out uh, uh, frequencies because I hear like a white noise in the background. Ah, uh, we can also give a bit of spice to it by adding effect tricks. Mm. We can spice it up a, a lot. Actually, we can use uh, Team Eight Eights. Uh, I think he used the. Uh, DB demo and add gross beat to it. I think TM88 once used it in some someone's track. I don't remember who, cool. but it gives a very great spice to the to the melody. <laughs> See, it already sounds great. We just added two chords. We turned on the arpeggio. Yeah. Now, uh, gonna give up the tune to it. Hold on. Gonna give it another cue. Just to make sure. Gonna add some RC20. Hold on. 
RC20 and I'm gonna put my effect chain over here. It's just, uh, if you wanna copy, it's just wobble 4%, nothing really much, just to give it a tune. Uh, some digital over here, some space for reverb, so yeah. I already hear like a Pyrex Whipper vibe to it, but you know, we're gonna stick to Gun's vibe. Um, I'm gonna also add delay, put a different kind of delay just to widen it. sounds great uh, I'm gonna save just in case my <laughs> Omnisphere crashes let's add the let's add the counter melody to this because the guitar alone just sounds boring let's add the same guitar uh, but without effects <laughs> So I made the counter melody, I just added some effects to it, RC20, the same uh, preset, uh, you can copy it if you want to, I don't mind, uh, just the same EQ, uh, build reverb, I um, also added a piece of delay and I widen it, but not to the full extent as the first melody. Uh, again, it's the same sounds, just one is uh, has growth speed and effect tricks, this one doesn't have done anything at all. Um, yeah, and uh, Gunner's guitars are very simple. Gunner's guitar beats are very simplistic. Uh, I do not recommend you to overcomplex it because you know it's easier to vibe uh, to a track when it's simplistic but you know so vibey at the same time. Uh, also, I also recommend you to play with the velocities just to give it a more more realistic sound. So, highlight uh, the score. Press Alt R and this pops up. You can play with pan, so you know uh, it gives more realistic vibe. Um, oh, you can also press bipolar, so you, th th there's going to be a different um, amount of configuration for each note. Let me just play with some volume a bit over here, panning uh, over here. Same goes for this. Melody pan, just like you know, pan it a bit. For here, I would do it manually because it's not coarse, just um, it's just uh, on its own the melody. And then we're gonna go add a third uh, melody just to spice it up. I'm gonna add the flute. I know it's the flutes are kind of um, kind of overused right now, but still to give. Uh, I think it will greatly fit over here. Let's go again to the palaces pack and um, use this flute. No. Alright, 
This sounds so good right now. Just let me put the pan down, so you know. Put the velocity down. Um, let me put. We can now move to the drums now. I think it's already enough, it's simplistic, it's interesting. So yeah, you don't need to add like six, seven melodies. And I'm just gonna add the cue to the flute. I already think it's already processed enough. So let's go to the Villaberg Stinkblood drum kit. I like this spins. I usually uh, don't like using the ordinary spins because you know it's already overused uh, but this one is like kinda a bit shorter than the normal spins so yeah uh, DM me if you want this back I'll give it to you for free I found it on reddit or you can find it on the internet um, so yeah let's go for a clap Right here I use like a, uh, what they used in Roddy Rich's uh, uh, the box. It sounds like a reversed 808 but in reality it's just like a bunch of 808s with uh, each note hitting in a different velocity giving that reversed vibe. So it just adds a bit spice to the drums. <laughs> Actually, changing my mind. Like, here's an appropriate hi hat. Just uh, use this function because it sounds dirty. Uh, here it sounds more clean. to change up the flute sound uh, it's more atmospheric sounds like this and also let me change the the guitar sound of bell just make it into an eight bar uh, and the first four bars that the, the foot will sound will be in the lower octave here it will be in the higher octave just to make the it more interesting here I'll just uh, actually here I'll just leave it alone
and here we'll have the, over here the reverse 8 weight uh, I was a noticed in Gun Strike his uh, perks uh, usually sound very unusual um, more like uh, high frequency perks let's see if we have some over here this sounds like a very gonna type perk Interesting, we're gonna have one per kitting over here. Let's add also open hi hat. I love adding uh, open hi hats. Yep, this sounds perfect. Alright, so yeah, I think the B is done. Uh, I won't over complicate it, uh, you know. Sounds really spacey. Maybe I'll add um, some variations to the hi hats. Make it a two step hi hat. Uh, basically, here's the arrangement done. Nothing too complex. But yeah, I didn't finish it yet. There is need to be a third chorus. Uh, but I'm really tired. As you can see, it's nearly 12. I have to wake up really early. But I hope you liked it. Um, I hope uh, uh, subscribe to me, follow down uh, my social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and yeah, peace.